we are ready to go for our draft for this game number one of Losers Semis. Soggy Ballers on the Oregon side, Deception EU on the Devager side for game one. Listen, if we don't if we don't see a Xandora comp, something's clearly wrong with the world. Yeah, Soggy Ballers will be most likely bringing that to us. Uh, or Deception. I mean, it, this could really go both ways at this point now. You know, I never thought I would ever, ever see North Star not, not even just on a team with Sandora, but playing Sandora. I, I never thought I would see the day, especially given yesterday and, and all the, all the hate that Sandora got. You know, you know, you know, um, that there, there are a bunch of people that actually think that Sandora is like the worst character in the game. Like um, even, I, even I think... after buffs. Ooh. <laughs> Give it to me. Tell me. Give me the spice. I I think she's fighting for worst character in the game. Okay. All right. I think she's like she's. It's between her and Ezrin. Mm-hmm. There, it's really close. Granny's down there too. And it's it's funny. I I don't know. I I feel like if we've seen some, if we've seen some competitive level victories on both of those characters. And not on Grizelma. I think Grizelma actually just takes it at this rate, right? <laughs> like she's just got to be the worst. Yeah. I know, by, by default. Yeah. We... Maybe. I mean, the there's there's the argument that like maybe Zandor is just a little bit more applicable, but I guess that makes her a better character in general. Yeah. And you could you know you could also argue that it comes down to the skill level of the team and whoever's picking her. <laughs> yeah, but it always does that. When you're when you're talking about a, like what character is better, you're talking about like equal skill. Yeah. And then, you know what what character will do better most of the time. I'm just saying on broadcast, at least at least on broadcast, I should say specifically, um, we've seen Zandoro's win, we've seen uh, we we've seen Ezrin's win, we have seen Grizelma picked, and she quite literally has a zero percent win rate. At least from what the, at least from what you and I have seen. True. So by default, <laughs> that could make her the worst character. Let's actually talk about the draft now. They've banned Margrave, and it looks like Deception is hovering the ban for Sven. And that is locked it in. It will be locked, yeah. Yeah. So that, not an Amani ban. Right. We're seeing a non traditional comp. Yeah. A, a something that would normally not be drafted in, in what we've been playing recently. Yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. Uh, I do like the idea of not having Margrave in a game for once. So <laughs> yeah, this is like the first time ever <laughs> for like like over twenty four hours now that we're not yeah. going to see a Margrave in a game. I think maybe there was. I say that I, I think there was a game yesterday that we did see Margrave banned, but I can't remember for sure. Um, but since Amani is not man uh, banned and it is Sanctum Falls, I can't imagine that she's not going to go on both teams at this rate. Oh yeah, she'll be she'll be present on both teams. For yeah it's uh there's, there's no question about that it'd one. be a like it'd be really really strange if she wasn't but let's see for sure i guess the question is do they pick it first or do they save it for a little later uh I, it's always the last pick you're, you're never picking it first mm -hmm. and it, there's I, almost no reason to i guess ideally in a world where dittos are allowed then yeah you can kind of save her till last because yeah in a you know in the situation where dittos would not be allowed uh then definitely she's priority number one if she's not banned at all but she probably right. would be right we're locking in the team at i would not be uh i wouldn't be surprised if deception just kind of immediately go for their kind of frontline here i'm expecting maybe like a paco um and then maybe one of their range damage probably a mirrored team at if i'm gonna yeah if i were I, a vet man we, we could still see the the zandora comp but with a uh an amani kind of floating around as you know hey i'm gonna be picked here eventually that's it's an inevitability she will be picked by one of these teams and likely very likely both of them yeah um, so you you kind of got to be a little more careful with the melee characters that you pick, and I don't think Zandora fits that bill. But who knows? You know, they kind of pick her whatever. I wonder, with that in mind, kind of that's our logic. But I'm wondering if they're thinking the same thing. What if 
like both of these teams actually end up drafting to potentially counter Imani, like soft counter Imani, before she's ever even picked up, right? It's like just build your team, like build your team around the idea that she will get inevitably picked, and then once you have that composition, then they'll be like, oh, maybe we shouldn't pick Imani here. This doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> That's definitely Deception's plan. I don't know if that was Soggy Baller's plan going into this. Yeah. Because um, they clearly didn't ban the Amani second. And that's kind of your, your job as the second team to ban the Amani in this draft. It, at least when if you want a normal draft, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So locked in the team at and the Roland here. Very oppressive, long range damage characters. Very strong focuses. Uh, good wound damage, good poke damage. I mean, these two characters are still overtuned. Like, T Mac got nerfed. Roland hasn't. He probably will still get some nerfs in the end. But right now, Really no reason not to pick these two. Right. Paco Hover? Anybody? Uh, the Paco looks dubious, but you do need a tank of some kind, I suppose, and Rucker's not yeah. in the pool. Rucker's out of the pool entirely, and the Marguerite's banned, so I mean, honestly... Zeno! Zeno, Zeno, Zeno! We haven't seen her yet. Actually, no, we did, we did see her hovered a couple times yesterday, but... I don't think she was ever actually in a game. Ramsey, I'm okay she with. She works on Sanctum, man. I'm telling you. She does. I agree. Um, I still think she needs to have the right team composition. But, you know, you could argue that with a lot of the characters. Ramsey Hover is pretty smart here, if I'm going to be honest. I think he's a good choice against Roland. Um, just like the ability to interrupt that focus very quickly. Since the focus does yeah. take a little time to ramp up, like just having fast reactions on your RMB can really change the course of the fight. I definitely like Ramsey into Roland team at. Mm -hmm. The Voden is yeah, not crazy about it, but it does work into, like you said, if you're trying to draft around an Amani, Voden is pretty good into Amani. Uh, I, I doubt that this doesn't get locked in. We're probably seeing this pick, but Paco Ashlyn we kind of went over you do need a tank of some kind the vadasi and... lock-in Ooh. hello soggy and ballers Vidassi. this is the last pick it's got to be a last pick armani right i figure it would be i don't I... Hmm. does anyone on deception play amani i don't even know i feel I'm like sure someone does i feel like they should but oh are they maybe really? they just draft to answer the amani just pick the pick the Ramsey and have it dive. Or maybe they're. Hmm. I feel like the alternative. Maybe they're opting to fight for. Uh, maybe they're fighting for pre clash D and then they want to cycle into post clash C. They're just kind of letting Vadasi have the C side and just be like, okay, we'll just stay over here. We'll do some like power rotations maybe force your Imani to move in case we go after uh, after the B point or a E point. Hmm. So not quite locked in on the Ramsey yet, but it doesn't look like they're changing their mind. I think that's actually what be, might be what they want to play. I'm still thrown off by the Vadasi. I don't really know what Vadasi's doing in this team. I don't know what she's supporting. She's there to kind of just heal up the Ramsey after he runs out of his fight, I think. Maybe. No, set All right, things. we're in. <laughs> so I guess the... you're right to an extent. It could go both yeah. ways. Either way. We're in the game. Uh, they found a kill somewhere. Deception got a kill. They're ahead by 10. Yeah, I mean, this uh, this double Amani comp does actually, or this triple range Ooh. with Amani actually makes it really hard for them to uh, to punish too much, but somehow they did find a kill there. So right now they're doing. I mean, I mean, Deception is doing what they did on the last map. On the last time they played this map, where they're just kind of going all the way around and killing creatures. Are we lagging a little bit? It seems like something's going on right now. Saw how much damage that Amani did so quickly. Is it just me? It's got to be just me. My my screen is frozen right now. Are you? Are you? Your stream is dying, Wolfie. Oh no. Sad. Okay, the game started moving again, at least. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going to touch it. If you hear me again. I can hear you. Yeah. I'll just wait. Just wait. 
They're going around for the uh, for the E point here. This is a power collection. We do have a trade for B. This will favor Deception. Because they are slightly ahead on the power collection. About, about 20 points ahead without this, without, uh, without this orb collected. So they will have to do something, send someone around to get some sort of pressure on this collection, but it will go through. Okay, we're back. Gas Beater is going down so fast. Obia said we're back. We're good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just, it is, uh, I don't know what is happening right now. I, I swear I double checked everything to make sure that nothing was weird. But yeah, I think Sneaky was, I think Sneaky's dead on. The devs heard me talking bad and they, uh, they're yeah. like, all right, bye. <laughs> they cut the stream. <laughs> said not, enough is enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that meme of the French could tell me. All right. <laughs> Deception moved in very quickly, rapidly took down this first wound. Now they got to get out of here. They do lose one person. While they're trying to get out here, they actually just turn around and pick up a kill on Ramsey. It's crazy how this Amani comp without, I mean, they have so much damage with this triple range, but it just doesn't seem like they're finding it on the same character and actually really punishing them. Yep. And Nautic Owl might fall to the poison, not quite. Ashlyn comes through to give him the little bit of health that he needs. Yeah, but look and how far. surprised Watermelon a little too fall, far in. I'm not sure what Vadasi was really even doing being that far ahead. Because no one, none of her team were there. Like, why were you over there? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Um, gonna go and clear up this obelisk so that Soggy Dollars can get a re recontrol onto their B point. And I was right. I think I called the idea that they're gonna hold control of D and they're gonna occasionally make these like small rotations here and there to force Soggy Ballers. So <laughs> it says Soggy Ballers or Sogger Ballers. Soggy Ballers. There we go. <laughs> I can type, guys. I can do it. Um, and honestly, no one even said anything, so they probably wouldn't have even known. What is uh, what's Ezra on in this game? Is he the Ramsey? Let's uh, let's tab and find out. Ezra is Amani. Oh, no, it's the Amani. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Deception's still ahead by a full rotation right now as we're moving on to the middle points. This will lead to a eighty sixty. And, uh, well, I feel like there was action happening, but now they're just kind of sitting around. And this is, I mean, this is yeah, pretty smart. Little, I mean, they're, they're slightly ahead of the Omani comp, so they don't really want to run into the middle and, and give her a chance to even build focus on them. Yeah. Uh, if they don't need to. Yeah, they're just sitting back waiting for E to capture. Soggy Ballers know that they have to go in and, and interrupt this, and they have to somehow stop it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a conceited effort on this creature here, but there's just so much damage coming out of this uh, front line and back line. Yeah, it is not working. So uh, this kinda... will be another capture. Push for deception. Yeah, I mean, with a Ramsey Paco and a team at uh, Roland, it just feels like you have damage coming out of every single part of this team comp. Yeah, so Soggy Ballers, despite having the Imani advantage on this map, they're really not taking advantage of it. Um, and um, well, I think Deception's doing well playing around it. Exactly. That's that's basically what I was about to say. You know, they they're not gonna go for this. I don't think that they felt like they did enough damage uh, initially, and they'll just they'll just play kind of the slow, you know, the the slow advantage game, finding the pushes. And, uh, I mean, yeah. Stay out of line of the Imani, and she's basically not doing anything. I think what happened last time is that when they went for that wound and got it, they were chasing to confirm some kills, but they chased too far. Deception got two kills on the rebound, and then when they were just ahead by the rotation, they stayed back. Like you said, they didn't have to do anything. Right. I think when they're at parity, the Imani comp actually has a pretty good advantage. Yeah. We're just... Sitting back here, enjoying enjoying cups of tea, drinking some water, playing playing. Ooh, a slow. cup of tea sounds really good right now. I know. A little bit of a push here by Soggy Ballers. Yeah, Laundromat's taking a lot of damage at the beginning of this fight, and so is the Ramsey. Aspeter has to get out of there very quickly. He will fall to Roland somehow. That was a really nice shot, apparently. Roxaseros gonna get poison on all the enemies, so uh, uh, the Vadasi's gonna have some trouble trying to heal everyone up. But we just, uh, just kind of just say this fight's done. Yeah. 
and walk back to our bloomer. Ten power ahead for deception. I mean, this is unfortunate that they lost that. They're they're trying to make a little bit of a play here. You know, you don't really want to move into E as a Mani. You're kind of hoping that they fight for C, and when they don't, well then, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like, and right. considering that there's a wall on D right now, that blocks the major sight line that Amani wants to take. She has to get so close to even like start doing damage. And by the time that she's that close, I mean, they could just jump on her. It's a small, like, turn around the corner. Then all of a sudden, you've got a bunch of melee in your face. Yeah. What are you going to do? Taking the smear. Okay. The curse. Yep. Cancel on the RMB. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, whatever the tier one is, I think that's... I think that reduces the cooldown of RMB after you land a dodge attack. Deception just kind of chilling out here. No. They know that they're... That's the tier one that reduces the E cooldown. Got it. I know that you weren't saying no to me, but it was so quickly after the, after I thought you were like, no, they're not. <laughs> I didn't mean, me to. <laughs> You're right. I did say it that way. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't really know... I don't really know why Deception are inclined to really just take these very slow games where the game will just quite literally play itself. They find a kill, they know that they'll get the Rampage unless Soggy Ballers goes to them. Like, they, they quite literally force them to, like, make a move here. It's just, like, if they don't, then they quite literally lose in every situation. Because the even though they'll capture at the same time, right now Deception has 90. So that's all they need to do is wait. Right. Trying to find a little bit of damage here. They're poking out this uh, this back creature and just interrupting it a little bit. And that will, get, will give them the power advantage. 180 push for deception. Yeah, it would have been 100 to 100 if that didn't get interrupted. So that would have just made the game even longer. Um, probably won't. Well, actually, it might do about as much damage as it said. It is the second wound. It might do a little bit less than the predicted uh, the predicted impact damage but again they're not really in position to oh, go for this nice they're just kind of going it looks like there's a fight at e happening if we scroll yeah over there. They, this fight at e could yield some results and end up in a little bit of wound damage depending on how fierce it is but not, it doesn't really I'm not really sure yield anything i'm not really sure who was goes there. down was it the was it the ramsey that was over there i don't even know it what happened so. That was that was very strange. Well, either way, we return to the zero zero. Back to back to the passive. We're just we're just watching. They're hanging out. I mean, what do you think they're talking about? It's yeah, like, probably about what they're thinking about for dinner or yeah, plans for the plans for the weekend. I mean, they, for the week rather. They probably had dinner. Some of them. <laughs> It's, oh it's, yeah, I mean North North is EU. Yeah. You know, he's probably long past. Dinner. It's it's late for a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, I mean, let's see what what do we think is going to happen here? Do we think that either team is really going to go for a push here? You know, um, deception. No, they probably is, can't fight. It's going to be a lot army. of sitting around, and eventually someone's going to have to make a push on some point and that's when we're going to see it's going to explode very quickly those uh, rockets don't quite reach as far as uh as roland thinks that they do just see <laughs> just seeing them pass with the with the orbital shot they i think he is hitting some i mean they're i don't think they're i think they're disappearing just before the ledge if he fires again maybe perhaps we can sit on that side and watch but maybe maybe not maybe they're just waiting i think what uh i don't know i i feel i feel like both sides are really understanding that they really can't play into either side right now like deception know if they go into the river then they're gonna lose to amani uh and soggy ballers know that if they go up to d then they're gonna be in a very tight space with a lot of area of effect damage and and control so like they're they're really just wanting to sit until they're forced to move. And that's when both of the power rotations go all the way cycled back to A and F. And then they kind of just sneak around each other, taking their respective territory. <laughs> and then whoever interrupts faster or kills faster uh, gets Basically the push. Basically rolling the dice. Yeah. 
if they if they don't get the interrupt if the creature somehow captures the point then i mean then obviously the push goes to them someone someone is playing wrong here that that's got it like there is there is a person there is a team that's supposed to be being aggressive yeah uh now it's arguable which one it is but ooh, a little bit of a little bit of possibility here is that ramsey over there it looks like it yep he's trying to find some moves Yep, he's the one moving in. There's a bit of an answer here. Now we're finally having the other team move across. A bigger fight yep, happening we'll on the layer inside. Side. This is like a 2v3 it looks like over the here. Cerberus is collecting. It will collect. Yeah, they didn't stop fast enough. I don't know why they weren't able really to get there. It must have been some really good CC happening on, uh, over here on the layer inside fight. But uh, they stopped him. <laughs> now we've got another push, number four. And they are. This is all power collection. We didn't see a kill this rotation. Yeah, not a single one. This is a. And they are not going in. They're not doing it. This is this is what Gigantic's been reduced to, guys. Competitive teams are now afraid to go for wounds. They, they don't like the idea of of fully committing and uh, dying for it. It's kind of smart for Soggy Ballers here, actually, to go ahead and, and move in. Do a little bit of damage to this creature. Look how fast Deception was to answer this, though. Yeah. They're right around the corner. And they're taking this fight, too. Simple is going very low. Watermelon is also already in a, on a sliver of HP, so can't but, really show their face. But Asa's got to stop healing. She's super low. She was kind of potentially in danger there if they fully committed to that. But they just opted not to. Now she's getting healed by the Bloomer. And, uh... They're just going to go ahead and hold the uh, stairwell now. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this in this series. Yep. This is... Uh... <laughs> Mind if everyone, this is game number one. <laughs> so, uh, this could be a very long series, and there's still two more to go through. <laughs> we're... You, you know... You mentioned we're in for the long haul. I think it's even longer than both of us were thinking. Yeah, we, this might be another two-hour series. We'll see. So, uh, I mean, I mean, what, what do, you, what do you want to talk about? What have you been doing lately? Uh, yeah, I've been reading this uh, new book, House of Leaves, okay. that I got. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, it, it's it's real weird. It's it's really weird. Weird in what um, way? Like, weird structurally. Or... Uh, yes, it's weird in every way. Okay. So the the book is a non it's a non traditional novel, so the pages get weird at, at certain points. Okay. So like the um, so like the story is somewhat kind of weird, and the writing style yeah, is kind so of weird. The story is you follow this like really broken guy who had a really messed up childhood, and he finds basically he inherits this blind man's house and his life work which was a kind of uh, uh, an academic review of this film called The Navidson Record, which is about this family that moved into a house which is, is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Oh, Ramsey? Yeah, a little bit of a try. Trying to make something happen here. But no, they, they, they don't want to move into that hallway. They understand all the AOE potential. So trying to do a little bit of poke damage through the windows. A little bit of damage to Kator. Nope, he'll recall him. Kator's fine. Did you know that Kator doesn't regenerate health out of combat? I actually didn't know that uh, for the no, longest time. No, I, I did not know that. Yeah, he'll stay He'll stay at that current health. Uh, and like, I mean, he like it looks like he regenerates because every single Ashlyn picks the uh, restoration. Oh, they're moving into secret. What's going on over here? Wow, is there actual? There's some. There's a little bit of action going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Ramsey is stuck around trading to trading some creatures like we've seen, but this time they actually look like they might fall. The creature is going to collect, not quite. Ramsey does get the kill at the end, and that's a hundred to ninety push. If they collect even ten power, then we'll still be on two, uh, two to three wounds here. But as it is right now, it looks like Deception is picking up another wound. Yeah, Ramsey is over on the F point. He could kill this. He's got to kill it right now, though. And even with a hundred, I'm not sure if this will be an auto wound or not. No, they ended up actually ended up forcing him away. So yeah, this is definitely auto. We're finally moving to clash. We'll see something happen now. 
So yeah, this was my prediction. Look how Deception is already like ready to move on and just forget D now. Like they're <laughs> yeah, they're done with it. They're just like, all right, D, you did your job. We we forced a stalemate. Now we're gonna get there super super fast. Look like only Amani and Ramsey are here right now. Yeah, they're way late to this rotation. Super late. And it's already half HP along with North Star, but that doesn't really matter. He'll heal his way back up. This Cyclops, however, is already gone. It's already gone. And they're they're summoning. It's a bloomer. Okay. I'm yeah, not my favorite choice here, but I guess I can understand what the, Ram what the reason is. I mean, uh, Blue Ramsey did kill F there. Yeah. Oh, that he... was a pretty decent trade. Actually, yeah, you're right. Um, if he can capture the power, even better. But probably won't happen. Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, actually, that was not gonna happen. He might end up dying for it. He might actually fall here. He's actually looking like he's doing a good job of fighting both of these players at once. Hiding at the corner of the map they there, juked but he him. will make his way out. He juked him. It was a good job. Good job, Ramsey. You've done it. We're even now, 30 to 30, but Deception now have control of both midpoints. They actually didn't kill D right now, so D can capture. This would be a very strong 40 power capture if, if they don't do something about D right now. Yeah, the, the, when the Amani comp like this falls behind, it gets a little bit harder to do anything about it. She can kind of sit at the bottom of the stairwell from, uh, from uh, what is that, up to C, basically, mm -hmm. and, and, and take some shots there, but... It gets really hard. Imani fo focus does come out. There's a lot of damage going into this hallway. They're going to they're gonna have to be careful about where they stand. It does stop, and Aspeter is the only one who falls low because of it. Somehow, he will make his way out to his support, who is also on a sliver of HP. Yeah. We're 50 to 90, but, I mean, if Deception decides to fight this, it will be disastrous. They don't really need to if they don't want to, but, man, that's a lot of low-health characters. Yeah, I mean, just look, look at this. Like... <laughs> the we saw this in the other game that we we witnessed like a half hour ago at this rate deception have control of c they've got the ashland to keep them alive and they've just got the aoe damage and poke potential from the h or not the hk the the team at so like look at this 100 to 70 now i don't think they'll do as much damage as the prediction says that it will but they're probably not even going to go for it they don't want to risk losing this point now you know, the uh, Deception had it the entire time. Or no, I'm sorry. Soggy Ballers had it the entire time. And if they gain re they regain control, then that's like a nail in the coffin. At the same time, though, you could argue that Deception really need to have a lot happen. Because they didn't even get first wound that whole time. But yeah, I, I yeah, was right. I mean, Deception is so co comfortably ahead at this point. I think they can kind of chill out. But... I, I, the... I mean, they they could have pushed for B, they could have done a lot of stuff, but at this point it's putting stuff at risk that you don't need to put at risk. You have both the midpoints, wait for them to step out, let your Ramsey do the kind of crazy stuff. They're even upgrading D here. I don't know about... Oh, it's upgraded to an obelisk. It is an That's obby. actually really good. It's pretty smart. That was a nice play. Yep, if they spend resources over here, then it's not going to be given anything. Yeah, now they immediately start going for B with Ashlyn and Ramsey. They're making moves. They do clear it out finally. Ten ahead. That was a really nice rotation. Basically, they gave up D. Are they going for F? The they're going for F. Yeah, they've been doing it. No, I know, but like oh, they're oh, actually oh, sorry. like. Oh, sorry. Yeah. They're, they're like committing that. to it. <laughs> that's crazy. They stop it from capturing. They took it. Yeah, that's wild. So, did they take the fight here or no? So they turned what was a deception lead by 10 into a lead of third, of 40, actually. This is a really nice fight. Aspeter trying to get as much damage as he can. He's kind of hiding in the margins there as Watermelon keeps him up to full HP. This Vidasi is so in danger right now. She's mainly capturing, though. She can't do it. There's no yeah, way. No. Oh, no way. it was very ambitious, but uh, I think you were just too low and... and... Even if uh, even if you were higher health, I think that the roll and focus would have come out on time oh, to push her. Oh, beat collect is coming through. They're they're about to collect uh, eighty power here. Oh, and, forty power. Sorry. Yeah, North Star actually went over and soloed B completely under our noses, and uh, and then now all they have to do is interrupt uh, D for long enough. Yep. I mean, they don't even need to do that. Yeah, they just find a kill. That's probably yeah, going to be yeah. game. That's a lot of yep. power. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Um. 50 shield is not a ton, 
And I mean, honestly, it's it's probably it's probably the end for Soggy Ballers. I was just glad that we saw something happen. Actually, you don't often see yeah. fights like in the middle or over on the uh, DF or A points. Game actually ended in a fight. Yeah. Wild. Are they actually not going for it? No, they are. Okay. There we go. Paco moving in. Lots of damage right, going through. There's a lot of health left on the wound, but it looks like they're probably nah. going to be able to burst through it here. Nah, it's they're just... They're chunking as hard as they can, and the screen will go white. We're going to jump right into draft, because they're actually already ready and going. It's going to be on Ghost Reef, game number two. So? Yeah, the... I mean, Ghost Reef, not known for its fastest games. Yeah, not on broadcast, at least. Maybe maybe other, uh, maybe other, elsewhere. Yeah. But uh, Soggy Ballers, hopefully, if they have something that plays a little more aggressively, at least uh, now there's only one neutral point instead of being forced onto only one side. Let's see. Is the is is the prediction correct up to this point? The yes. The Star GG prediction? Or no, no, no. Um, they actually expected Soggy Ballers to be in the loser's final. That's what it's yeah. Soggy Ballers can still be in the losers' final. They could. They could. They could two one this. I suppose. A little deception getting first pick and banned this time, which means that they were the ones that picked Ghost Reef. Are we gonna see the return of that five person death ball comp? Um, we totally could. It would lead to potentially a fast game. Yeah. Really depends on how. Uh, how Soggy Baller's answer in the end, I suppose. The Monty Band. Band. North Star already spoiling it for us in chat. They're apparently not going for the death ball. Thank God. Let's increase the pace of play, huh, gentlemen? <laughs> okay, all right. Soggy, <laughs> Soggy Baller's Band, the Ashland. They are not wanting to deal with that anymore. And this is very smart. You know, we've seen in the past couple games... Uh, that Northstar has played when he picks this Ashlyn, of course that AOE healing, but he also opts for the bubble on the Q, and uh, very smart. Soggy Ballers likes their range, likes their projectiles, and if every projectile is destroyed, well, you know it's just immediate effective, uh, immediately effectively reduces your potential damage and potential pushing power. Right. I mean, and there's just 20 billion other reasons why you pick Ashland, so... Yeah, very strong character. And 20 billion reasons why you pick Teamat, as we see two first pick Teamats into a Sven. Yep. Uh, the the Nipple Man himself showing back up on Soggy Ballers. <laughs> I, can't, I can't with that anymore. I don't want to go back to that section, that segment. <laughs> so very quick lock-ins that we've seen uh, very far, like, uh, as you said, ditto Teamat with the Sven. Sven, very good on Ghost Reef, uh, with those high ledges, kind of leaves a lot of uh, safety for escapes and engages, moving in and out. You know, that jump pad, immediately super useful. Deception, looking like they want to pick Voden. No, I'm a liar. They want to pick Ramsey again. Yeah, not going not gonna to happen, I think, on this one. If you already... I, I think teams are hopefully starting to learn when Voden's supposed to be picked, and... I'm not certain that Team At on Ghost Reef is when you want to vote in on your team. Yep. So Deception have several times now at this rate locked in this duo uh, Team At Roland. It seems to be working very, very well for them. It makes a lot of sense. They're just there's just a ton of damage from such a long range that these two provide. Right. I, I mean, I think the actual kind of the Team At Roland is such a consistent damage from the back line Ooh. that if you pair it with- Yes! Like, oh my. The return of the Nasus Zandora. Soggy Ballers want to go in. I'm here for yeah, it. Yeah, Deception said we might not be doing it, but Soggy Ballers wants a little taste of something, bra Brawly. They are gonna do it, which means I think Soggy Ballers might opt for an assassin at the end of this of this triad here. Um, I would imagine- yeah, I say you have to pick Mark Graves now. Well, I mean- Margrave potentially, but I'm thinking... Oh, you mean for Deception? Yeah, for Deception. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, a Wu is also a safe pick, in my opinion. Um, not the I think Grisama. You, I think you might need the Margrave, honestly. There's no Grisama here. Don't, don't, 
Don't do that. No reason. All right, Paco is safe too. The very good AOE slowdown CC. Um, if he's not careful though, he can get focused down super super fast. You know, Margrave with a or not Margrave. Yeah, Nosus Margrave with a dies engage. in a second to this Nosus Zandoro shit like or stuff. The <laughs> Uh, listen, the, we're not we're not a family friendly stream this time. We were last time, not this time. Okay, it's gonna right. slip every once in a while. That's the 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 Paco is gonna die even faster. I understand. I just think uh, I think what they're really trying to do here. Are we gonna see a Zandora mirror? No way. Oh, I oh, would. Okay, this is probably more likely. The two of them together can def effectively like yeah. really shut down the potential. Um, I am into this. I, I think I prefer a Sven over a Paco, but I can see it working. Um, yeah, I think this is totally playable. I still think Soggy Ballers are going to opt for an assassin. I'm thinking they're going to pick Taito here. Um, I think with the triple melee, the assassin's a little less enticing right i guess i could also pick margrave or paco there are there are a fair amount of options i think in the end it's going to be a melee because you want you really want a third melee to be with a zandora right now um or you could oh xeno xeno actually looks sick in this comp tell me xeno doesn't look good in this uh she could yeah i i, I think there's some potential getting some nice slow down and and uh Kind of area of effect crowd control for these two frontliners and the Ramsey. Ramsey will have to be there in the midst of everything. And she's gonna play in range of Xandoras. I think there's also a potential for Wu here. I think Wu's gonna be trying to pull in, uh, trying to pull in Team out if at all possible. Maybe hopefully forcing her to escape and reposition super early, or maybe perhaps grabbing her after she tries to use her thrusters. Um, there, I mean, there's a lot that could go on here. Um, it's got to be another melee. Like, I, 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 I can't imagine. But at the same time, I guess it is Ghost Reef. Like, they could be safe with another ranged here. I just don't think that Zandora and Nasus do enough as as two melee. The Ramsey Hover. This is, a, this is another kind of combination of that fighter assassin -y style character. Yeah, um, it is kind of fighter assassin -y. Some. I, I still want to see... I, I want to see a Zenobia right now. I don't know if he even plays Zenobia on that team, but... I don't know if Soggy Ballers have a Zenobia player. I, yeah. I think you are right, though. I think there is potential for it, but it would require someone being really, really comfortable on her. It is a, uh, a is a Ramsey confirmed locked in. Ramsey and Zenobia, weirdly enough, kind of fill a similar but different but different role. Ramsey's obviously a lot more assassiny. Yeah. But kind of that mass poison application and just being that annoying presence in a team comp that also gets uh, value out of Zendora or uh, auras. Yeah. Zendora or Zendora or aura predictions that you would like to vote for if you feel so inclined are, are somewhere up on the stream just hover over the stream click the little extension cast in your vote already got knob on the midpoint getting focused down and ass beater is going in trying to get a little bit of damage on this uh on the team at that had to run back to her point yep ended up living in the end and the obelisk falls yeah just a little obelisk for extra summoning to get a to get some early levels, but also gives over experience for dying. Just no power. And, uh... Oh, what am I talking no, about? Dave's not in the game. I don't know why I thought Dave was in this game. He's not. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I, I don't even... Uh, Dave's just in my head, you know? I just yeah, want to... still waiting on your game. I just want to see him do good. <laughs> well, anyway... 40 to 40. We are seeing a little more action happening in this game, but so far both teams are playing very safely. Oh, I actually need to switch the team names. Excuse me. Soggy Ballers are on this side, and Deception EU are the red. Ezra's getting comboed on. Not too much damage going down on him, though. He'll be okay. North Star makes his way out about half HP. He gets followed by the enemy Ramsey, but still okay. Yep. They... A lot of poking going on, but not really any deaths just yet. Paco pretty low, but I think he gets out there just in time. Roxas here doing very well to make sure that no one follows him. Yeah, we're resetting back here in the middle, getting health back up. The D point is coming up in slight favor of Deception right now. Just because, uh, well, 
Obelisk means that they can't capture. They have to kill the obelisk first. Which means that they have to spend resources to kill it. Moving in. Ezra's going to start that fight there. About half HP on the obelisk already. They're ranged or plunking our way at it. It will fall pretty quickly. Yeah. As Gnosis fights Northstar. Nice little, bit of, of nice little bit of siege damage you can see happening from the fire drake that's on B right now. That's uh, That could be a big factor in this mid fight. That's why I kind of like drakes on A or B. Because they reach a lot further than the minimap suggests. You know, like, you know how... You know how for Cerberuses and for um, and for Drakes, like there's that little mini ring that appears on the mini map. It kind of shows yeah. you their effective radius. I think the Drake is actually oh, longer. Owl is in danger. They're oh, chasing him. He wants he it. Fast. He does get the cripple. He's he forced to focus. To save his life. But will it be enough? He's got to keep running away. Ezra's still on him, and he will finish the kill eventually. 70 to 90. And meanwhile, Deception found another kill somewhere on the other end. And, and uh, a power collection. Yeah, that was a lot that happened there in a short amount of time. So now we're here in this first push. Deception getting the first push. Possibly positioned to get healthy. So I is doing actually really well to keep them in combat, if at all possible. So to dissuade them from going for this. Yeah, they are. Peter's got to be a little careful here. He does have two uh, enemy players kind of collapsing on him. Yeah. He will be okay as Northstar gets focused down by the enemy range. Very smart play to make sure they stayed there. far away. Northstar also forced, uh, forced to use his ult just defensively to make sure that he stayed alive. Very good defense from Soggy Ballers, kind of being aggressive. And this is something that I would like to see more in like solo queue like a lot of people just go back and start defending the wound no you can be aggressive and keep like fighting and keeping them in combat to stop them from moving in you've already lost the push you're not giving them more by dying <laughs> yeah Ooh, big a leap of a dangerous fight here for peter fish he will make his way to the back of the fight and force enemies to kind of commit the dive onto him Margaret Ball will get burned, but nothing will come from it. Roxaseroth's getting really low now. He's got to round the corner and find his way out. Paco's Paco super low. Him. Snowball he around the corner. Defensive ult to make sure he's okay. Just the safety, yep. Oh, now he might have gone too far. Cow needs to leave. Good save. Extra Cow damage. Is. He's so low. He's alive. Good saves across the board for both teams. I really thought at least one person would die there, but man, they're really covering each other. This is already five times more action than we saw in the last game, and it's been it's been like three minutes. Deception is still even here. With a little bit of damage on the first wound. Large Margrave jump coming through. That he, one had some hang time on it. Yeah, he wanted to try to go in and do a little bit of damage i don't really know if they really could have confirmed a kill there but i guess the idea was to just like show dominance i guess i'm not i don't think it would really anything would have gone to that that's a long cooldown that he doesn't have now meanwhile his team is wanting to fight here in the middle by the time he came back it was already too late everyone had already scattered yeah all right, though, we're not really... Ooh, fighting a big bear. A nice kill on Ass Beater. Northstar finds it, apparently. Soggy Ballers. And Hypnotic Owl will pop his ult to find the Sven as well. Now we're 20 ahead on uh, on uh, Deception. Soggy Ballers just doing a little too far most of the time. They're they're trying to, like... They're trying to move in on these kills instead of realizing that, okay, Nasus Or not Nasus Margrave just, like, uses this big cooldown. We just kind of wait. But now they're now they're super behind because they tried to trace kills on these two big health beefy tanks. You know, yeah. and, and it just ended up being not the best idea. So now Deception are just happy to wait. They just need to stop D from collecting. And actually they're just gonna go for a collect themselves. Nope, get interrupted. Yep, they just have to wait this out and wait for the C E collection. Yep. Big nice rolling roll ultimate. We'll get a little bit of damage down and kill the no the uh, Nasus afterwards. So we're 60 to 90. So even a kill will make the push. A 60 to 100 push could be an instant auto wound. Yeah. I mean, even an 80 to a 90 could be, but it's going to be really close. This is very smart from Northstar to just kind of prevent the extra little bit of extra uh, shield health here. See, if we collect now, it's not going to be an auto wound, so actually, they have to get this uh, power. Actually, now, 90. 90 to 90. 
Okay, eventually it will go into the way of illusion. I think that is still an auto wound. Or deception. It is. It, no, okay, uh, now no, it's now not. It's not. <laughs> it's down Very good job, Soggy Ballers, finding an extra kill in the end there. The question is, will deception, despite the despite the hundred shield, will they go for this? It is just first wound. It is the least healthy of the three wounds. Hmm. I don't think that they will. It doesn't seem like they have the pressure for it. Maybe they're gonna run past, but nah, they're keeping them in combat over there. They have to make up a lot of space. Zendora and Sven doing very well at just making sure that they can't move in. And Liren will get up with not a scratch on or just another big fight happening in the middle here with lots of soggy players down to a very low HP. Sven is quite low and they don't really have anyone able to go in and finish the job. Nice leap. Oh, he's super low. Where did he go, actually? He's just gone. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's out of the game. Apparently. I don't know. I don't know where he went. Ball. Oh, Paco is down. Soggy Ballers is actually now ahead soggy. for the first time. This is repositioning here in the middle. Yep, just clearing out the obelisk. Oh, no, it wasn't even... No, that was an obelisk, right? That didn't show on the power feed for whatever reason. Yeah, I th I don't think it was an obelisk. Or, I think it was an obelisk, sorry. Yeah, it had to have been. Let's talk about still ahead by 10 right now. Which means that they, you know, they could, in theory, just sit back and wait. But they're, uh, they're not wanting to play like Deception does. They want to fight. Yeah, giving a little bit of poke here and there, and the Roland's bot is almost down. That's a lot of his damage gone. Weirdly enough, killing that bot actually does gimp that character a good amount. The Ramsey is going to be dodging around a little bit. Oh, trying to stay alive on a quarter HP she's going as the in. rest of his team commits onto onto Hypnotic and will find the kill. 60 to 50 now. Deception is a little bit behind. The Zendora and Ramsey are trying so hard, but they can't actually confirm these kills. She's still so healthy, though. Ramsey goes down to and no, she's gonna give it up and leave. But they've fallen behind now. That was uh that was them sticking around for too long. Their back line got super low and were forced out of the fight. It was literally just Ramsey or sorry, it was literally just Gnosis in there for a while, and finally Zendora was able to join him. Yeah. But the other two range the range were just gone, like at that point. Like they needed to go back and get healthy. They're trying to finish off these kills, but it ended up just turning bad for them. They lost two people so along the way. For 80 to 90 with a mid collect coming, one kill for deception is a push. Roxaseroth's going in, but he's going to bite off a little bit more than he can Whoa. shoot. Now we're at 90 <laughs> to 90, so one for either is a really big kill here. There's a really low health Paco on the back line that Aspeeder's trying to find, but Gren will smack him away. Hypnotic Owl also on less than a quarter HP, meaning that this is a precarious fight for him to participate in. Soggy Ballers need to just leave. That spends half health. He's stuck for too long. Now Ramsey's in there. They can just turn around. They find a kill though. Yeah, there it is. Ezra went, not Ezra. Uh, the the Paco went too far. And they do find a return kill though. I, I figured that that Ramsey would die back there. But this is a this is a push. Soggy Baller is showing some signs of life. I'm here for it. I mean, it's working here so far. The they they're a little bit behind in the uh, health race for their guardian, but. That showed a good amount of control over their fights. Yeah. They were able to dive really deep into Gren and get what they needed. Yeah, they somehow turned that fight completely around despite um, losing the previous fight, ending up being 10 behind, and then they turned it back around when they really only needed one... Like, Deception only needed one person to die, and Soggy Ballers ended up finding two. Yeah. Like, that was pretty, that was pretty crazy. Really big punish. So we reset back to 0-0. Zero, zero. All three sides still holding all three, or yeah, both sides still holding all three points. I mean, you know, like, we're seeing these little fights happen, but like, it's just so important not to die in this game, <laughs> like, especially during the power race. They try to go yeah. for these moves, but they're so hard, like, it's so hard to fully commit. And if you commit for too long, you're basically guaranteed dead. It's like, I can kind of see the point that was made earlier that. Some people think that it favors to be... The, the game is more favored to be passive. But at the same time, you know... You find these motions over here, like this fight in E right now. Or F. Where you're, yeah, they're forcing it. And get it, that creature dies before they even show up to the fight. So this is a really big fight for Soggy. Because they're 10 ahead before it even starts. And find rocks afterwards as well. 
So now they're 20. Hypnotic has to make his way out, and Paco's on very low HP. Soggy Ballers need to leave now, though. They just take what they have. 70 to 20. 70 to 20 is big. That was a that was a crazy move that I'm a little surprised worked. They're still fighting over there. They summoned an obelisk and they just want to hold this now. Yeah, it's look at this. Work. They they're keeping uh, deception out of here. This is what I said kind of during the break to you. I said if if soggy ballers find a way to be super aggressive, it seems like deception doesn't have an answer to their super passive play. Like they just fall apart if they uh, if if a team ends up fighting soggy ballers on their own territory to fight you know despite wanting to be defensive and passive they lose they fall apart yeah. this is a huge power differential this is the biggest power differential for a rampage that we've seen for this whole series and possibly for like the whole tournament well i wouldn't say that i think we saw an 80 20 earlier but well yeah that thing is gonna fall really quickly of, now of what we should you have to keep in today right you, you have to you have to keep in mind that soggy really they're not that ahead no. One one push from Deception, and but they're, they're back but, on parity. But they're technically ahead now, and that's what matters. Right, yeah. Ezra Ezra's in a good amount of danger in the midpoint. He will get dazed on his way out, but that's a Zandora. He's pretty fast, apparently. Good, a little help kind of from Sven. Yep. Helping his teammate kind of get out. Deception do find a kill somewhere along that whole skirmish. But uh, overall... About what you expect to happen when you go and finalize a wound. So yeah, now uh, now soggy ballers know that they have to be a little bit aggressive, or eventually that they will lose this push if the rotation goes all the way back around. Seeing a bit of upgrades here. Yep, counterplay is what I expected. And uh, oh, not the days, not the days queue. Interesting. Weird. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit strange. He, oh, he took the deflect queue. No, he took the... I don't remember what the other side of the tree is. I just know the tier 2 of the one side dazes on the last strike. I'll have to look at it again if we ever get, get some time. Deception is slightly leading here. Even if they get a 90 push, it's probably going to be a wound. Yeah. Deception kind of playing to their advantage here. Kind of what we've seen from them in the past. Uh, once they have a little bit of a lead, they just kind of play passively. They're kind of holding these points. It's on his Q, Banjax. Observer. Let me see what the other side does. Okay, it applies broken armor on the final hit. Uh, I see. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, good for your brawl comp, where you kind of need broken armor. Yep. The final kill oh, here actually Nazi going in. Look at him go! Soggy Ballers! That was a really nice jump attack. 80 to 70 now. Deception slightly behind in the fight, and Laundromat has to find his way out. Otherwise, they'll be Sven. even more so. Now Northstar is kind of left with no other teammates to back him up, and that's a hundred to eighty push. Soggy Ballers looking like they're taking the lead here. They spent so much trying to focus on Sven when Sven is like, Sven is remarkably hard to kill because he's got twenty one hundred health and he has like his own little you know defensives of the heal pool and then the jump pad. You can't really commit to that. So the fact that they were going for him when they probably could have just gone for these three melee that are all clustered together. I mean. They must have just found their damage source and then nothing came out of the rest of it. Soggy Ballers, again, yeah. finding a fight on an advantage in, in Deception's own base, I might add, and getting another push. They won't confirm this wound, not by a long shot, but like, that's, that's three in a row for Soggy. And now we're going into Clash. So this only becomes more and more dangerous for, uh, for Deception now. Hmm. Yeah, the every single every single push now makes it even easier for the brawl comp to get in because it's doing slightly more and more and more damage. Yep. Another point we're, to bring we're getting up into dangerous territory. Yep. Another point to bring up is that uh, Deception actually doesn't have a very traditional support slash healer in this. I say all this. There's a fight going on. Chaos yeah, bomb. good amount of good amount of damage getting down and a spent all getting popped, but no one quite dead just yet. I'm sure that will change quickly as Northstar falls to Ezra. Yeah. And this Bloomer also taking a good amount of damage from our team at. Overall even trades, but look how much look how much ground that Saga Ballers have now. This is this is Deception's point. And they they got those kills, they forced them away, killed the creature. Now they're retreating successfully. You know, there were some back and forth trades there, but still end up getting one uh one half rotation ahead. 
And for the first time, Deception looks like they're really on the back foot here. You know, this this could be end up being a uh, this is end up being a game three series right now if Soggy Ballers pull out a clutch win. Yeah, as the as the way it's looking right now, if they continue the way that it's going, Soggy Ballers are good uh, after this a good forty points ahead. Look at them in their base, Margrave stun. They've done this before. They just kind of stick themselves in here and say, this is our uh, point now. Now they have control over the point with power on it. So Deception really needs to rest this back. Look how well they're doing it, just sticking together. Deception is like all over the place here. Wow. And, you know, Ramsey's just going in and out. Like, look at him. Look at yeah. this Ramsey. It just, it feels like smothering this uh, Nasa Zandy comp. This might be enough for an auto wound. It is post clash. If it's not, it'll be very close. Really close. It says it is an auto wound. I do think that it is. I do think that it is. If not, it's like the little teeniest sliver. But I'm I'm banking on yes, it is. Post clash, second wound, only sixty shield. We'll see though. Very close. So are they actually gonna confirm go for this? They are already yeah, here to defend. Oh, Ramsey! Positioning actually hit the wound. Oh, Ramsey is in there, and he might be able to do it just himself. He He'll got it. Give up his life for it, I think. Oh, he'll die though for sure. There's no way he gets yes, out. Yes, he's down. They confirm it with the Roland focus. They actually get a second kill on there. So now this is really bad because Sven is super low, forcing to use his jump pad just to get out of there. They are moving in. They want to kill this creature. Three dead. Uh, yeah, Rox is so low. He somehow finds his way out there, so it's a thirty to zero push. I... And Paco has turned into has put on his Emperor's new clothes. Apparently, yeah, he's uh, he's invisible. Along with North Star, they're invisible. That's funny. This is uh, this is spectator just more visual bugs. It's fine though. We can we can kind of see what's happening here. Oh, Roland's there too. He's he's they've all got the uh, Emperor's new clothes. I, on. I love that it's just their weapons that we can see. <laughs> Zendora <laughs> moving in. Oh yeah, Aspeeder falls down so quickly there to the just pure range damage from uh, Illusion. So Soggy Baller is kind of going for these aggressive plays again, and they know that they have to, especially now that they are two full rotations behind. They I'm need... surprised we didn't see a B fight there again. Yeah, they need to regroup. Or fight rather, sorry. It looks like they're going. For... Yeah, I think that that actually is what they're going to do. Um, but they might end up going for C since that's the next or uh, E, sorry, because that's the next rotation. I think their E fight is a lot worse than their F fight. Um, but they kind of they they don't really have a choice anymore. Yeah. Ramsey just peeking, kind of seeing who's around the corner. Nope, they're going in. A good deception in here now. Yeah, they have to. They're so deception is kind of stepping forward to try to stop them from interrupting their point. And it looks like it's working. It did work. They're getting an auto wound here for this. So it's down to two to one as long as they just leave this fight alone and don't die. Yep. But we know that Soggy is probably going to try to... No, they're just saying, all right, we'll take the two to one. <laughs> what is happening? All the all the visual bugs. I have no clue. Poor, they're poor... slowly rebuilding Paco. Yeah, Paco looks like he's like... <laughs> Paco looks like he's taken some dark arts and is like part warlock now. He he got a one level dip into warlock for the uh, in, in the, the the great old one. Um, well, Soggy Ballers are Rocks already half HP. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This Gnosis can actually just make uh, Margaret disappear. Nice support from the Zandora to kind of get him out of range. He actually doesn't get hit by that Roland focus. I, I'm just a little bit surprised. Um, but yeah, he'll just kind of stay, get his health back. He probably has the skirmishing upgrade to get out of combat faster, which means that he's regaining health faster. Oof. And yeah, in the end, uh, no. Back to back to just kind of chilling out. Oh, oh. Peter tries for something. It's a good snowball. Oh, jump pad will save huge the jump pad. That was so scary. That yeah, would have that, that would have absolutely killed him if he got frozen there. Clutch Sven coming in clutch yet again. Yep.
now we're back to 2020. Not really much going on at this point. Just waiting for Pow to collect and maybe a midpoint fight. I'm a little surprised, uh, like you said earlier. I, I think that Soggy Ballers have, have found success in going for these F pushes. I feel like they could just do it again, but they're, yeah. but they're not. I mean, it, it's starting to get scarier as the game goes on. Everyone's kind of full talents now, I think. I wonder um, if they're worried about the, like, the power that Deception might have if they if they think that their post clash talents or later levels have really changed the game. But I'm not sure if that's really the case. Yeah, I'm not I'm not certain if I'm convinced either. But they are trying something on this collecting point. A huge Sven ultimate hits at least three players there. And nor or simply Mary will fall shortly after, leaving us at a 70-70. As we're trying to find something here. It does look like it so was a two for two. Yeah, uh, Soggy killed a creature, but get uh, responded to with a kill on their Ramsey. Mark gave it a little too far there, getting picked off. Soggy Ballers ahead now. Oh, going yeah, for the crap, 20, though. They, they need to collect. stop this. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh. I don't think there's any way that anyone collects a midpoint. That would have been scary. I actually don't know. It was just Sandora, but there was potential, I suppose. There are so many interrupts on each team, on, on both teams. Yeah, really. for sure. But I mean, look, this is a this is a turn of events for for deception. Now they're the ones that need to make some sort of play here, and they're kind of positioning here. They want to stop this creature. They are in a good position to do it. Starting to pick away at it right now. But look at the, on on the mini map right now. You see, Mar uh, Nasus and Zendora killed E, and Nasus just capping. They didn't even. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they just held four on it. 100 to 70. Yeah. This could be the game if they just win a fight here on their point. I don't know if that's the case now with A. Yeah. Oh, Laundromat goes down. Very good kill, but this Gnosis needs to stay alive right now, and he's not going to. This is going to really severely reduce the amount of damage that still they take. If they find this. As long as... Woo. Yeah, that's still a lot of damage for. That's a good hit. It's good amount. Still okay. The Soggy Ballers, I mean, they've they've found their stride. They understand the name of the game now. I think uh I think this is going to go to a game 3, Sarzy. I think we're going to see it. So. We're going to see Soggy Ballers turn I mean, it there's around. There's still a good amount of space for Deception to turn this around here. Yeah. The Soggy Ballers still probably has probably another push or two. Yeah. So anyway, I still have two full wounds though. Like that's still gonna be a lot of work to go through to fight through that. But we'll see. I've been I've been taken by surprise before. I will probably be taken by surprise. My constant caster life. Ooh, Sven's too far forward. Far in. The jump pad will save him though. Yep, jump pad always useful. Oh, big damage done on the T mat. She's out of there though. Forced to use that, but look look how much damage Talking Ballers are doing now. They're still High health bars. Paco's in danger. They yeah, find Paco's him. getting followed by two different players on two different sides of the fight, and there's just nowhere for him to run. Rox is already half HP, and Ezra, and Ezra is just slamming away as much as he can. Big roll focus, has though. to has to run away from the roll and focus. I think it hit and him, and that's the reason why. <laughs> I think that's the reason why he's so low. I think that did actually hit yeah. him. That, they're just gonna say i'll take the bloomer and take my power lead and get out of here yeah that fight was won solely by the fact that they were able to burst down team at super super quickly team at was so far in the back getting healed back up by a and by the time that she was actually able to fully get back in like the the frontline defense of deception had already lost a majority of their health the fight was lost already by that point they, yeah. they had no damage able to be done to soggy ballers just comp Oh my goodness. Now the return is kind of happening here. Ezra's real low. But he, he does do some fancy it. dodges out. Man, what is this Sandora tag? I need to learn this because she is just like, she's unkillable right now. She's just so fast. Deception finding it's some potential Rainbow damage Dash, here. Oh, they do find two kills 90. actually. Deception is slightly ahead. 90 to 90, so we're tied up now. One kill means a push. We do have a D collect uh, pulling together, and surprise watermelon's really Poor low. Sven. We have to pop the ult to keep himself alive. Oh, he's now so low! Watermelon or what? laundromat, whoever falls first gives a push. Launch oh. Watermelon does fall. 
the Laundromat makes his way out. The final whip shot just knocking out Sven. I don't know where the rest of the team really was. I'm sure Sven was calling for help again and again. Yeah. Zendora was, was kind of there to help out. Yeah, Zendora was kind of there to help out, but it just wasn't enough. Like, he can only stall for so long. Big push. Even at 90 shield, that's a pretty sizable chunk. But again, don't think they're going to go for this. They want to they yeah, really gonna take, take quite the time. Yeah, it's going to take quite the committal to get uh, any amount of damage on here, and that could just give up the next push, which Ooh. could be the game. He's really low. Going to get out of there. Nice job with the level, just to give him some extra buffer. And we reset. Back to 0-0. Zero, zero. If it keeps going like this, Wolfie, I don't know how long I can do it, man. <laughs> I'll call North Star if they have, if they lose this game. I'll get him back in here. Don't Dude, worry. Dude, it's getting it's getting bad. Nah, he's. I'm about to fall asleep in my chair. He's already. Uh, it's already pretty late for him. If I'm forced to do a solo cast because you're actually exhausted, like I will do it. Your health is more important than uh, than the competitive. Oh, it's almost six o'clock, and we're not, and we're not going to be done with this set. <laughs> Like, are you kidding? It's pretty late. But anyway. Oh, Turtle says he's down. But he's in the games. <laughs> I don't think Turtle's in the games. I think he's just chilling out. Oh, yeah. Paul, Paul's volunteering, too. Suddenly, suddenly all the oh, people shit. that want to cast are in the suddenly woodworks. Suddenly everyone wants to cast. They're doing it. Oh, They're man. They're stepping up to save me. Oh, my gosh. I don't have the Red Bulls for this. Yeah. You should have restocked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I drink one a day for work. <laughs> That's really unhealthy. It's really bad for you, yeah. <laughs> but, but I kind of get it. <laughs> Ramsey's sticking too long here. He's super low. Deception find a kill. Return kill, though, and they need to move forward with this advantage that uh, Zendora has right now. They're pretty healthy. Big team at focus coming in. Sagaballer's so finding a lot of kills, a lot of damage happening. There's Yeah, there's just so much damage coming out on these fights, it, even though you wouldn't expect it from such a melee comp that needs really good positioning to do it. They're just constantly finding these kills in these fights. Yeah, so I give turned around that one kill deficit actually finding two kills throughout the course of that. So now they're a uh, half rotation ahead, D coming back up. And again, I mean, you know, I've said it plenty of times, D doesn't even really need to be captured. It just needs to be not captured by the enemy, which is... Probably what's gonna happen. You said it before. There's a ton of a, a, a ton of CC on both teams that can just stop the capture from being manually yeah. powered, or, or power from being manually captured. So Soggy Ballers will need to wait. Power rotation will you come back to C and E. Planning an obelisk. Is he doing it? Oh, I thought he was capping. <laughs> I was nah, like, I was what? <laughs> I would have been very now shocked. Now with the obelisk, they can sit in it. Yeah. Really. Nice to flex. Good Paco ultimate to, to kind of force them off as well. Yep, just to just to deter them from doing it. But uh, this is a uh, we've seen we've seen Zagi Ballers like go for this E push. Oh, the interrupt of the stun! That's huge. That was really he big. Collected off of it. That was actually very clutch. And he goes back again. They're going for it. He wants it. Look how low he, he is. He gets it this time. He missed. That was a missed click somewhere no, that Roxas no, did. No, that was the no. It was the spend bubble. He he hit the spend bubble. Oh, he did. You're right. Him. And just pushed him further. That was crazy. I thought that he just leapt too far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, the spend bubble. You're right. Spend pre bubbled it. Is it going to do that much damage this late? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, no. Uh, this might be committable. I don't know. They lost Ramsey. Yeah, they're looking a little scared about it. Oh, they're moved Trying in. Trying to run in now. I think they're going to see... Oh, they do get two kills. One on Oh, my God. They're finding now. it. They're doing... That's a lot of time for them to get this wound. It's a... Lots of damage going down, and we're going to game three. We're going gentlemen. to game three. Soggy Ballers bringing it back. So, Soggy Ballers with the first pick and ban. You said it was Ashlyn and a Sven. Yep. Just got to get them back in. And then we're into a team at pick, first pick. Yeah. So, uh, team at locked in is not surprising at all. Best range character in the game. I've said it time and time again. She still needs some. She still needs some nerfs and tweaks here and there. 
She's going to continue to be very powerful and oppressive until that happens. Yep, she uh, she's just so consistent damage and has a lot of really good effects on her abilities, like burning and cracked armor. Yep. And uh, she just brings pretty much everything you want in a range. Yeah, it's just, it's it's so, it's so suppressive with those LMBs. Like, they don't fire super fast, but man, they hit pretty hard. Their hit scan, the rockets basically just are free damage because quite literally they home in. Um, and you can, you know, you can use some of the terrain to your advantage and have them kind of, you know, hit the floor or walls or whatever it may be. But uh, generally, for the most part, those are going to lock in and hit you. So it, it's just lots of burning. Deception hovering over the Margrave right now. I mean, it's hard to go wrong. Nope. You just kind of first pick Margrave. Even if you don't have a support, it's going to keep itself alive for a long time. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like, I mean, maybe I'm just, maybe everything is like mashing together in my head right now. I'm not sure if we've really seen Deception want to really kind of go for Margrave early. I mean, I've, I've, I figure we've seen them on both teams enough times by now. And in a, like teams across the board, we've seen Margrave a lot. I mean, I think everyone has a general Margrave priority, right? Yeah. Margrave player somewhere on the field. <laughs> Just the best character, like the best tank. Y y if you get good at Margrave, like you're basically super useful in, in whatever team that you want to kind of go for. Yeah. Whether it's just for fun or if you actually want to go serious. Like if you get good at Margrave, like teams are going to be like, yes, come here, come to me. And the roll in lock in as well. Yeah, just another really strong range DPS. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it paired with a team at. They do complement each other extremely well. Yeah, Deception, you know, this will be... <laughs> this will be another situation out of many times where those two ranges will be together. they just so oppressive. Tons of damage. Lots of, uh... You know, I wonder, actually, now that we're, now that we're talking about the two center... Or thinking about... Or rather, now that I'm thinking about the two synergies, I wonder if Roland is going like the burn bolas. You know, like if you get a direct hit, then the bolas do burning damage. Does that synergize super well um, with Teamette's like armor crack thing? Maybe. Where it, it, it could be. Yeah, because it cracks armor if the target is burning. It doesn't specify that it has to be your burning. It's just burning. Yeah. Same reason why you kind of pick Charnock with her. Yeah. It's very smart. Hmm. So a Gnosis hover. Are we going to see the Gnosis Endor return for a third time? That's the that's the question. Because they're not going to have the Sven to compliment them this time. They're going to have to be a little more careful. Have we seen a Xeno pick this tournament yet? No. Gosh, no, man. No, we have not. What happened, my girl? I just... I don't think people like her when they... When they aren't forced to only pick like one character per team i think it's just kind yeah of, i know she was already pretty low on the totem pole and now she's just kind of invisible they're wrong she's top tier man i'm they're, saying it they're wrong <laughs> they're all wrong so nas is still hovered right now i mean honestly soggy ballers have shown success with that duo um i just wonder if they're you know, like I said, I wonder if they're still going to be able to keep it up without the support of an Ashlyn or a Sven. Maybe we'll see like a Bowden actually get picked here. If it's specifically just for the jump pad, or maybe perhaps if uh, someone else on the roster is able to give AoE. Oh! Um, you did hey. it! You did it! I did it! Soggy, <laughs> listen, I know they're listening to the stream, but you, you didn't have to go that far. You, I'm glad to see it. You, you manifested it. Listen, you say what you want in life, and you don't always get what you want, that's a, but sometimes you get what you need, you know? It's a really good render. She's just looking right at you. She's just yeah. she's just like, you like this? Staring into your soul. <laughs> like, you, you see you see this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess them up. So, I mean, the Xeno pick is pretty decent on Sirens, in my opinion. You, it, it, in a, on maps where creatures matter a lot, I yeah. think Xeno is good. Because she controls the area in which you want to fight for the creature. Yeah, that one level dip on the E to make it bigger and apply poison. It just basically covers the entirety of the post-class D point. It covers 
a majority of the pre-clash D point and the hallways. Uh, you know, if you go super aggressive, which I imagine Soggy Ballers will, you know, it's uh, it's pretty common that we see bloomers on the midpoint, like B, and I think it's uh, F on the opposite side, where we're wh whichever middle point of the three on Sirens, we see commonly bloomers. My point being that if you if you have a bloomer on that point and then an enemy Zenobia comes in and just poisons the whole field, you're basically not getting that much healing at all. Granted, I don't... Hmm. It's providing less value just by nature. Um, I don't think that she'll actually opt in for the poison because really you want to pick poison just for the healing reduction. Right now, so far, no one on Deception has healing, like, whatsoever. Well, kind of, but the other tree kind of sucks, doesn't it? The one that yeah, does damage after a little while. But I'm just saying, you can, you can, uh, you can just pick, you, like, you can talent that in later. Like, I wouldn't be surprised right now if she doesn't even consider putting any points into her E until, like, level 9 and 10, considering what yeah. we're looking at right now. Lock in for the Beckett. Could be. Looking for the Beckett and the T-Mat on the other side. Three range. Lots of range damage potential right now on Deception side. This is uh This is not what we usually see from them. <laughs> we've seen we've seen like kind of two melee most of the time. And then like a, a support and some ranged. Now we're doing three ranged, and there's still a pick that is yet to be seen. I mean, this is the kind of comp that I prefer on Sirens, where you're kind of running around and, and killing the uh, killing the, the creatures a lot more, kind of focusing on that creature gameplay. So, it, I, in my opinion, it definitely works. A Wu hover, possibly. We also saw Margrave kind Wu of working in Wu works great with Zenobia. Yeah. Like you pull, you pull uh, an enemy right into Zenobia's control area. Yep. It's a very good counter for both Teamat and Beckett. Teammates a little harder to pin down because their thrusters are so fast, but Beckett with the jetpack, you know, if you if you time it correctly, you just kind of bring her back in right at the last moment, and then she can't use it to escape anymore. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this. I mean, Wu's just generally also really strong on Siren Strand just because there's so many little pockets that he can jump up and into and disappear around corners, um, especially post-clash. He's really, really hard to kill. Yeah. I am a Wu lover. I do like that froggy boy. Yep, I know you love Wu. I I like Wu conceptually as a character. I think he's super fun. I'm just not good at him. Yeah. Never have been. He can be he could he's one of those guys where you kinda gotta devote a lot of time to just learn exactly what's going on with him. Yeah. There's a lot of it's a big time dump. Or a skill skill uh, cranking to get through him. What do you think will be the last pick, though? Do we we did see like a Margrave hover previously? Do you think they'll still opt for that? Um, or do you think Zaki Ballers will pull out another Zangora? I think preferably you want some sort of healing support on this comp. Yeah, but um, to kind of increase the longevity of your Zandora or is it your Zenobia? Sorry. Well, the only other one that's left is Vidasi. Our two main healer supports are banned. That's a good point. So do Soggy Ballers have a dedicated Vadasi player that's comfortable? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I suppose in this situation, maybe you do pick the Zandora because you, you do want some sort of defensive option to... You you want to increase the longevity of your Gnosis and, and Zeno in the fights. Yeah, I think Zandora would be pretty good here, all things considered. Considering, I mean... Uh, Zenobia isn't melee, but she is very short range with that beam, and, and she's got pretty low cast ranges, except for on her RMB that does travel pretty far. Um, but I mean, the 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 point is that she's going to probably most likely be in range of uh, the Zendora auras, if at all possible. Right. So Wu, I mean Wu will be Wu Wu will be in range too, as well as uh, Nasus. It's a Zandora. It is a Zandora lock in. Soggy it's like Ballers they're listening to our stream and they're like, oh, let's just draft what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. I think Soggy Ballers, <laughs> I think Soggy Ballers just really, really like this Gnosis Zandora duo. And now they've got a. Now they've got the. A Wu and a 
Zenobia to help super well too. This is a... Uh, well, I guess the Wu can really go in and finish kills if he needs to. But generally we see Wu more often nowadays actually go for more of like that fighter brawly type build where he's just like super mobile and really hard to kill and it just does a ton of CC. Not necessarily less not necessarily less damage, but overall somewhat less damage than what we used to see uh, before years and years ago. A title locked in for Deception being their last pick. Very um very interesting composition here for Deception. I think this Deception is I think their plan right now is to have this Taito stick to Teamat and Zenobia as quickly as they can. But uh, yeah. but Taito doesn't win against Zenobia by himself. Like that is a combined effort that they have to go for. Right, yeah. I, I'm not a huge I'm not huge on the Taito pick. We're gaming. Siren Strand Deception versus Soggy Ballers game three. Who's Soggy got the point got the D point early. Yep. So Deception on Laren's side, Soggy Baller is on Gren's side. And Soggy Ballers right now have control of D. Look at these teams. Point 20 here, so even even score except for the D point being held. Mark a bit a in danger. In danger. Ooh. Good kill, he good confirm. will fall. Nice confirm by Pete. And Nasus doing very well getting out and leaving when he could. Uh oh, big focus. That Zenobi is taking too much damage. Rocks will fall. <laughs> Rocks fall, and everybody really dies. Too. He's getting followed out by an Owl. Yeah, Deception stayed too long. They should have just took that kill. They already, uh... I mean, they don't really have control of D, but they definitely could have, you know, just taken the small advantages while they could. Recovered, regrouped, yeah. try again. It's a little more spicy now. We're seeing a little bit more pressure here all around the map. Yep. The uh, Cyclops will fall in the midpoint. Yep. So Deception does uh, have a power rotation up, but it looks like Soggy Ballers will just freely resummon back on B. Big stun. Ooh. Oh, huge stun. That's a five player there. But where's the rest of the follow-up? trying to get out. Laundromat is the only one in the fight, and Owl is now left by himself as well. 1 HP trying to run away from Ezra. Spagus trying to finish caught. the now job. 90 to 90, and this mid-collect is coming up. Zenobia Deception really has to do something. Zeno's getting chased down. If this kill gets confirmed, then that's the push. Oh. But Roland will have to get chased off of that one. Oh now no, Wu! A lot of danger as well. Does he have any stamina? I don't know. It looks like he's just he's trying to dodge. Here, oh my oh, god! Not a single shot will There's land. There's no way. Okay. North Star will finish it there off. There we okay. go. Oh my god! How back and forth was that whole thing? This is the first push. And Rox gets the plan as well. That was crazy. So Deception end up getting the push and the control of this point. They're definitely not going to go for this. They're going to opt to keep this. I, I see no world where anyone actually goes for this rampage. We're already seeing that teams don't like going for... Uh, they don't like going for wounds already. And this is one situation where I actually fully agree. That there's no reason to go for this. Yeah, it's just throwing it away. A little bit. A little bit of a lot, if they do that. But yeah. Just some posturing here, waiting for the power rotation to start up again. Grand will recover. Everyone's in proper position. We see Taito kind of in the midship flanking in case his team decides to move in. Right now, they're Soggy Ballers wanting to be inside of the tunnel way here. Yeah, and Taito's just waiting for anyone to kind of move in and show their face, stick a little too far forward, and they're basically just going to get you know, jumped on, blasted, forced uh, to force to retreat. Yeah, it's a really dangerous game to play, jumping in pretty much anywhere oh. when you have triple rank. Yeah. Yeah. And they just kind of see the slow progression of the game happening right now. It's like, it's like Soggy Ballers want to make a move here. Big focus from Zandora, make sure that her Wu stays alive. Taito trying his best, opting just to leave on the blade spin there. And yeah, we return to yeah. we return to status quo. No kills on either right. side. Just straight parody here. But uh Soggy Ballers need to probably do something else if they can't commit to these kills, if they're kind of afraid to push in, and there they go, they're going around. 
but they're answering. I think Soggy Ballers does pretty well at stuff like this. Now the Cyclops is going to make it a little bit goofy for them to get around. However, Deception has no idea what's going on, and they're going to be late to the F push. Taito is trying to take some E damage down as well. They killed that so they so will quickly. end up trading these creatures. They killed that. It all goes down to try to kill the creature as well. Big interrupts Ask on the Peter Wu right now. to Rox, who has to ult to get his way out. And he's gonna get out of there barely. Yeah, oh no, he bleeds. Bleed. Wow. That was enough damage. Yeah, that was a big one. I'm now they shocked. do have a level two AWP planted on C. Yes, they did actually upgrade that creature. That's a lot oh, of but experience. but they're just collecting E. They just let E collect. Yeah, that was, uh, hmm. This seems bizarre, Soggy Ballers. Another, wow. Finding interesting plays here. It'll be 80-80 after D captures. I mean, if D captures at this point, we're getting a Wu uh, that's interrupting that constantly. Yeah, just Wu going back and forth. They're clearing out and this obelisk. And now Soggy Ballers way. is clearing their obelisk. Taito out of stamina, it looks like. Danger. He's quite Simply low. He got will him. finish it. And now this collect coming through. Ezra can't stop it. We're at 90-90. But D-Point is looking in, in a lot of danger of falling. Good leap getting out of there. It was very patient of him to stay and just mitigate as much damage as he could. All right, Deception will get the, uh, the push here. Yeah, the Wu was it's trying 100, to... 100. The Wu was trying to interrupt that D point, but actually ended up staying a little bit too long. Understandably, because that would have been the push for them. But uh, after a while, you're gonna have to realize your team isn't really able to uh, your team isn't really able to stop and, and get the push for you. So you kind of just to take the loss, end up dying because he stayed too long. Beckett ended up confirming that kill. And now, not much damage is gonna go on to Gren. Yep. So we're gonna chill out here, wait at parity. Nothing's really because if any one team moves, then they kind of give up position for the other place that they want to be. Yep. So the four points back on the middle. Taito back on the ship. They're moving in though. They want to try to get this, open it up at least for their range to take it down. They know it's fairly low, so it's not like a huge commitment. Anything to get an advantage at this point right now. This is much harder to do properly on this map though, just because they can. They could easily just resummon it, even if it does die. We're going in. And yeah. A lot of very low deception players still. Well, not very low, but half HP and so the the Cyclops also already half HP. I actually did get it. End up getting the bigger AOE poison field. I'm a little surprised that he. It's really good. It is just good. Getting poison on that many players at once is good. Let alone if you're taking healing away. It it is good, but no one's healing on deception right now. I just I I figured oh it would be inevitable. Ass beater went in and immediately went down to a quarter HP before he even had a chance to try to leave, yeah. and he dies before he even hits the ground. Soggy Ballers actually got a really nice uh, uh, Nasus focus there, but it ended up really did not doing too much. I say that though, Deception ended up getting a couple kills here and there, and they kill the creature. They should resummon here while they have the chance, but they're not doing it they're leaving no nope, they're they're just continuing to brawl this is questionable okay there we go now they're summoning these fights are so dangerous for either of the melee players on uh soggy to go in any of the melee players mm -hmm. for them to go in with so much range damage coming out here we go the back caps yet again for that power rotation they're clearing it out and they're actually just manually capturing but they're doing it on that side too so if someone doesn't come over here and stop this Zenobia gets the push and they actually stopped on the other side so it's only going to be 100 to 70 another push actually no this is soggy baller's just push push i'm sorry yeah and it's a lot more damage than the other two that have already happened yep the difference of the shield oh, okay 80. <laughs> still you know it'll do it'll do pretty good damage, damage. Yeah. This yeah, is... there we go. I think they're slightly ahead of here now, actually. Yep. So this is, uh... Well, I feel like... Oh, they're going for it. They're attacking uh, they're Laren. They're going for Hypnotic. No, they're attacking oh, Laren, Laren right now. Oh, taking damage as well. Roland and Team Out are both on the wound. Okay, they, get, they did kill him, so... <laughs> but, uh... They went for that. 
That'll be an auto wound on like 90 or, or less now with a, yeah, with a that, health that will like be that. And he didn't die for power either. That's really good. Deception ended up finding a kill somewhere on the opposite side though. It looks like Zandora died. So good on them. Uh, now they have control of, or Deception need to move in to try to retake control on D again. But at the North same time... North ultimate on the creature. It's already gone a half HP from that, but North is dead even faster. Yeah. The creature was... is falling, and we will take Margrave out of the fight saying, hey, buddy, let's 1v1. That ultimate goes crazy. down, and he will fall very very low, but it's just not enough. Hypnotic Owl falls in the fight. This is, uh... uh what? I don't know what's happening there. That is, uh... I don't That's think that should have happened. That, that's that's a pretty bad bug. I have not seen that happen in a long, long time. Uh, Abstraction. That one's that one's not good. I I don't even know if that's really their fault. I don't know if they really touched these maps at all. <laughs> the ones that were the ones that were here, they I think they just kind of uh, I think they just kind of let them be, aside from like some art assets. But yeah, that was super weird. <laughs> That's wild that that just happened. Finally, Deception go and, and get rid of the obelisk on their C. <laughs> Resummon it. Moving in to kill this creature again. Playing really, really aggressively here. They they kind of like going for these far points. Another Beckett ultimate. Yeah. It's just not North surprising. North charging that stuff so fast. Well, I mean, it is Beckett. So, uh, yeah. it's She's got the focus charges all day, all night. They need to move and rotate over to D now, though. D's the next power rotation. It's going to be a capture if it, or it's going to be a push if it captures. There we go. But they end up finding That's two kill. kills actually. Deception and just find a kill. Now they're having a really big push. This could end in a wound very easily. Yep. If they play it a little safer, they're just kind of. I mean, they do want to look like they actually want to get it this time, but hopefully everyone's kind of healthy before they fully devote to going in. Hypnotic Owl, pretty low. Getting on out of there. And yeah, here they go. Yeah, they're totally trying this They're getting it. I mean, it'll be very easy to do. Yeah. It was rather low. Question is, do they get out? But the question is, yeah, can they get out without giving power? And it looks like Aspeeder's gonna say no to that question. Yep. As well as rocks. Return kill. They turned around and found him, yeah. So Ted to Ted as we reset. Oh, big cause ult on Zenobia. You don't usually see solo ults on Zenobia, but if you confirm a kill and get a rotation ahead or, or partial rotation ahead, why not, right? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of ahead now. They're ahead in the uh, health race. They're, I mean, everything's looking good. Yeah. Even without this midpoint, uh, Deception is finding plenty of ways to, to get ahead in the power race. Yeah, Deception... Uh, Soggy Ballers rather want to keep a hold of this D point and, and by all means you should because it's Siren Strand but they also need to be quicker to answer to these aggressive plays that Deception are making like on this back capping because they're just getting rampages you know back and forth they've got the majority of it a little bit of an open angle here for Laundromat yeah I wonder maybe hmm I'm wondering maybe if the creature got Wu-Tongued, like it pulled off of the ledge, but it still should have like teleported back on top and reset. Yeah, well, Wu-Tongue doesn't actually pull creatures. Oh, it, that's right. Yeah. It only stuns them. That is correct. Hmm. I'm very curious what happened then. Very bizarre. Well, anyway, fight happening here. Yeah, another Beckett ult gets popped. A little bit of a spacing ultimate for the Margrave here. A watermelon will take a good amount of damage. Oh, they're chasing it, in. They're kind of sucking it up. And I'll, and rocks will fall along with Northstar. That's both of your heavy damage backliners gone. And your last one on one HP. That Roland is looking like some power so, for Visa. So and he will find it. Deception went for the play yet again. But now this time it seems Soggy Ballers was ready for them. Uh, this will not be an auto if they give away 10 more power. They need to be careful. Just just get on out of here if at all possible. Accidentally killed the creature. It's fine. I think maybe they just wanted to make sure that it died. Like one less creature for them to summon. One less uh, one less Cyclops wall. And it's going to be Clash now. Soggy Ballers still have control of D. And, uh, well, whoever reaches there first. Yep, utilizing the advantage that... uh. 
That even though the, the water is still there. literally already there. Yeah. Big oh, focus. Man ultimate. But no one else Dungeon is really, really there. Low, yeah. He just had to use that See, for his own survival and leave. Margrave's just going in to open this creature for them, but they don't have the longevity with him for, to, for him to just stand there. However, they do have the damage to find as Zenobia, who's out of place. She'll fall pretty quickly. Very nice, uh, very nice confir confirmed kill for Deception, but they still need to, I mean, they, they, they're finding pushes every now and then. They are, well, we're evened up, honestly, but, you know. The, the, there's still a lot of pressure happening here uh, because of the D point needing to be controlled. If not, they need to go for a rotation here. I think they would have. I think they should have already had gone for F if they were going to plan on doing that. Deception will fall uh, behind just yeah. normally. I they're, they're. I mean, just ten behind is not the end of the world. It's very likely that, that there will be a fight a little later where they'll at the very least even up. They're 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 looking to start a fight here at some point, and they're just waiting for the right time for them to start a fight. Yeah, it looks like Laundromat thinks that this is it. There is a Beckett all coming out, so that that's gonna hit the creature three times there, and Ezra will fall super quickly along with Watermelon. This is what I was talking about, where they just have to chill and wait for a fight where they can take, and they're so far ahead now. Yep. Just one hundred to seventy. Just moving in, you know they. They found that they found that push and engage is really really strong. Even with the assistance of the creature, it didn't matter. Deception win that fight, and they clear another creature. So Soggy Ballers will maintain a hold on the D point. But uh, you know, I said this in I said this in the last game, kind of before we preemptively. I think it was during the draft. Oh, they're going actually for this. They're confirming that. I'm shocked. Yeah, and they will get it. <laughs> I, crazy. I'm actually shocked. Did they have a for that? I'm not even sure if it was really a Beckadol. I'm more just shocked that they went for it at all, considering it didn't do that much impact damage. But anyway. I'm shocked that they got it. I'm, uh... I, I said that right now Soggy Ballers seem to win when they are going against Deception right now, because Deception is trying to play these, like, defensive comps and hold territory, and Deception is able to break through their defenses even so, and they're finding pushes because of it. Deception with this tanky comp does not seem to have an answer or are comfortable actually fighting when the enemy move forward. Deception again and again we've seen that they want to actually play super passive and just let the game play itself and eventually get push. But when they're forced to no longer be passive, they kind of fall apart. Well, not right now. They're seeming to have a very good gra grasp on this game with a 2-1 to one lead in wounds. 30 to 30. I feel like I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this D point, and yet Deception's... Or, sorry, uh... Yeah, Deception still end up getting... Rampages. Yeah, they're just picking perfect times to get their fights off, and getting the, the power lead that they need. Oh, did I mix up the... I think I mixed up the teams. I'm just speaking now. <laughs> I'm starting to get exhausted now, too. It's your fault. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. I'm rubbing it off. It's, uh... Well, either way. Deception seems to be pulling it through in the end here. This is a good initiation from uh, Soggy here, but it just doesn't yield anything. I mean, they get a knock-up on the Beckett, but by the time that she hits the ground, she's already in the jetpack and hitting your Gnosis, and he's dead. Yeah. Basically, take what I said about... Like, what I just said, just reverse the teams. Deception are the ones that are advancing and somehow Soggy Ballers can't control the territory despite having control of D for the majority of this like last half of the game. It's like the first time yeah, we've point in everything. It's like the first time we've seen the D rotation come up and be relevant in this game at all. Uh, I mean right now it's giving them a giving them a clash. Yeah, it won't give them push with this. They do have to find another kill. They will take the fight, though, with, uh, you know, the Beckett in the back line doing so much damage. Simply tries to go in, and he will end up finding the Beckett, but he's at 1 HP in response for it, and will get confirmed by Hypnotic. Yeah, Soggy Ballers actually do get that push. This time, the Deception Siege did not work. They don't even find the 100 defense. That's crazy. I, I can't believe they didn't even get the 100 there. 
Oh, well, there's still potential. Looks like fighting is happening. Not quite. They will get a pretty large slam onto Lear in here. Yep. Now, I don't think they have the damage to actually push this word. I don't think they are going for it. I think they realize it's a little too dangerous. So, yeah. They're just going to stay. They're going to keep... It feels so bad to not get that one. Yeah. To not even try for it. It really does. They're so behind. I think they're just afraid that even, you know, they're still technically losing these engages even while holding D. And if they give it over, it's going to be just even worse for them. But it looks like it's going to happen anyway. Ahead now. They did find North Star on the back line. That's a big kill, actually. Because now look how quick they're falling apart. Deception sticking for a little while longer than they probably should have. The rest of them do get out, but now there's a rotation ahead, and not even the first capture point have have been a uh, have gone through. I think that Deception have shown us that they can kill wounds from very high HP, especially with Beckett ultimate. Yeah. So it's the I mean. Soggy is going to win this push, very likely. I, I I don't see Deception making up a 20 power deficit when they're behind on the midpoint as well. But if they ever lose a push, it could be extremely dangerous for them. I agree. A little bit of poke happening over here by Deception's Taito. I just opted to leave there. Don't know if he could get that in time, I guess. Still fights happening over on the D point, it looks like. But both B and F are capturing. Nah, just back and forth poking. And Soggy Ballers are playing this well. Getting that early 20 point lead means that they just have to wait. Lots of damage. It all goes out, but it's not grave. really going to do too much. Really, just Medic is going to take a ton. And Laundromat has to get out of there very quickly. Now it's just Hypnotic Owl in there by himself, trying to confirm the kill on Zenobia, but he gets caught out, and Laundromat goes in to try to save him, but that baits him in as well. Oh, he's they so They might have low. been off a little too much. Yeah, he does get out of there, but now Psycho Bellas are way ahead. Okay, so not quite as far ahead now that they've confirmed more kills. Only 10 ahead there is now. There's a big fight going on at G right now. Is there? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, oh, they're upgrading. Actually, no. Never mind. Never mind. They were upgrading. That's what it was. It, it looked like there was a fight going on, but they they just had exclamation marks on them for some reason. We don't now, see. in a weird twist of events, the Deception have the D point and the power collection's coming up. They're pushing that now, actually. And now they're pushing into the level two creature. Even if, I mean, this level two creature might have been a throw. It's, if they kill this, it could be done. It's already half dead. It's already like 90% dead. Oh, but they're not quick enough. They're going to get it, North though, Star and get the defense. If you can't confirm the kill fast enough, at least get it for the 100 power defense, right? Deception or... Right, but I mean, collecting that there would have been so big. It would have. Just getting the push off here. No, absolutely, I agree with you. But, you know, take the take the small victories while you can. Because now Deception... Yeah, now Deception... Or, sorry, now Soggy Ballers definitely won't go for this. That's what we think. It looks like they're not. They're resummoning on G. Yep. I'm going to get that creature back up before it's a little too late. A bloomer is very killable on that point. It is, but it is also kind of the standard. It's like a lot of the fights happening over here. Um, a baby is a little bit better than an adult's bloomer. It's just really there for the safety and being able to get back in. This oh is my. interesting, you, though. Okay, okay obelisk it's, it's is an nice. obelisk. I, I love these obelisk midpoint upgrades. Yeah, this is... Uh, we don't often actually see this, especially on a, on a point where you're uh, kind of holding pretty consistently well. Um, this is this is now very, very hard for Soggy Ballers to get anything done. Because even if they do maintain D control, they technically get nothing out of it for killing the creature. This is very smart. Collections coming through with 2020. I think Soggy Ballers have to just go for something else at this rate. If, like... Uh, like they were main, they were maintaining control of D, but most of the time it didn't seem like they were actually really getting that many benefits from it. Like they got a good push, uh, they got a good push taking advantage of Deception's engage, but otherwise, nice little combo on rolling there. We'll find two kills for the, uh, uh, yeah. We'll find two kills for Soggy Baller, and two kills for uh, Deception as well. Yep. We're pretty even here, even after that long fight. A lot of people died, but power is the same. Super close to getting a push on either side. It might come down to the D point, actually. But remember now that this is an obelisk, they will have to manually capture. 
That takes a lot longer. <laughs> Two kills happening again at the same exact time, 70 yeah. to 70. We're staying super even here. Ass beating is trying to find North Star, the... which Pete will actually finish off. Yeah, the Wu dies. Another to... really low health roll in there as well. And the Beckett dies to Burns, I think, is what happened there. And that's a uh, hundred hundred push. It, it is. It will be a push for Soggy. Yep. Because Soggy Ballers got the eighty points first, despite the two creatures capturing at the same time, the power will f uh, the power will favor over to them. This seems very silly to be doing for deception. There's almost there is no reason for you to try that try to kill that Zandora, because your Taito could very easily die, and then if they kill multiple of you, that could be a really bad push going on. Luckily, they did get the kill on the Gnosis, so I think there's too much shield for anyone to really do anything about. And yeah, this is uh, yet again another wound that they can't fully confirm. It is. Another situation. They find the they find the uh, summon Cyclops, but they're probably not going to get control of this at this rate. They'll probably just Shaggy Brothers will probably still keep this. Laundromat going in very dangerously. I don't see him making out here. Yeah, yeah they find that return so just, kill. That was good. They they were ten ahead, but they just lost their lead there. North Star now getting dived by two melee players. Gonna have to keep that straight, and it looks like he will be able to. There's a lot of damage going on him under Liren, but she'll be able to slam them off. How low that and Cyclops is. And now Margrave is. comes through trying to save the Cyclops, but that thing's already dead. Ass Beater is probably out of stamina at this point and having to fight off a Taito and a Margrave. He's he does waiting have for his, his cooldowns. Yeah, he's out of there. Unless a, uh, a rocket ooh. lands. Don't show uh, your face, man. Face. Oh my god. Oh, he, he showed himself. They knew he was still there. He should he should just kept going. I don't know why he stayed for that long. That was a little silly. Maybe he was just running further does kind of expose yourself to the Taito who's probably going around to I guess so, but he got right like there. he got slammed by the Margrave. He could have just continued further. Yeah. But oh well. It happens. Deception now ahead by ten. And Deception are the ones in control of D yet again. Are they going for another ob? Is it an ob upgrade on D? Yes, it is. It's a big play by Solid Ballers right now, trying to go for this. Doing a lot this of damage to this creature. The power, but they're going to be taking C as well. They're doing the same thing. So someone's got to stay back and manually capture, and they've got to go over here and stop them. It's just Wu, though. Oh, he can push all of them. He does get it. They've done Wu the same thing over here. Hunting. Look at this fight just back and forth in territory. 80 to 80. It's going to come down to who this finishes capture first. For sure. He's got it. No one can stop him. Yeah. Big rampage for Soggy Ballers. And that should be so an auto wound this late in the game. Yeah. And we're back to even. This is quite wild. Very, very back and forth. Very, very close yeah. game. It'll very even well balanced up. game. It'll even up after this. We are now final wounds. And man, like, it's just there's so, it's just so much stuff going on all the time. Finding a kill. Deception, get a kill there. Moving in on Soggy Ballers, trying to advance and get control of this D yet again. Zenobia might fall too. That'd be really bad. It's a full rotation now. Yeah, this is 20 to 0 ahead. There, this is the point where it actually yeah. starts making a big difference. More damage coming on the wounds. Soggy Ballers just kind of falling apart at this rate. You know, they've, they've found three kills now, a, a full rotation and a half ahead. And, uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Deception kicks in their, their old ways and just kind of wait for the game to play itself now that they're a full rotation and a half. Like, 30 points is a pretty big difference. But at the same time, I can kind of see they're just wanting to defend the D point. All they're getting out of this, though, is an obelisk for Soggy Ballers, which is really not that helpful. They want to go in, forcing them off a point. Taito still wants to play around, though. Going for the summon. Try yeah, trying their best to stop this summon, but it's going to come through at the end of the day, really. Yep. Another Drake. Fire Drake, not my favorite, but, you know, I'm still a Drake at the end of the day. 
70 to 40 now for Soggy. So this push is looking real for them. It is indeed looking like deception will make this happen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, deception, not Soggy. Yeah. Is, we're, we're getting mixed here. Laundromat is very low, though. 90 to 80, so we are tying it up a little bit. One more kill would make this really bad for them, though, and Ezra will fall at the end of the day. Yeah. 100 to 80. If they just get out here, they did use just use team at focus, so they're probably not getting a push off of this, but... It's another 100 shield. <laughs> yep. It is so difficult to finish out these games. Both of these teams are literally playing like their life compare uh, depends on it, because technically their tournament life does. And just bouncing off of each other. Yep. And it seems like someone kind of wanted to try to go for a little bit of damage on Wound, but now it just, it's not done. Oh, there we go. Okay. A lot of damage done from Beckett and, and Taito. Good amount of damage here. No one's responding. And they're just going to get out for free. No one was there. That was really good. Wow. Very that was a good amount of damage on that. Very patient. And only like the last five or six seconds of, of, uh, yeah. of the game. Or of the game of the, of the rampage yeah really well played that makes the next rampage whether it's 100 or not i mean it is a doable wound at that point yeah i think deception are really just oh okay. um that was interesting i don't know what really happened there but at least they <laughs> traded right oh it looks like someone dc'd did someone dc on soggy baller's side i only see four portraits uh ezra left the game yeah uh i, I Guys, we're not remaking this. Nope, it's not happening. We're not doing it. We're going to wait for them to reconnect, hopefully. I think we're just kind of... Yeah, I think they're I think they're just being chill. Okay, Ezra's back in. Ezra's just loading. Okay. Good sportsmanship. Right, we're in the game, we're in the game. Good sportsmanship, you guys. Love it. Alrighty. We're back in. Deception trying to move in to recontrol D point. It now belongs to Soggy. 50 to 50. Drake's about half. Margaret needs to leave. Pandora is re entering the game at this point. Yep. On D point now. This She's here. Be a little bit careful. And yeah, they're going to just get back to full health if all possible. Move back in and out. Just watch the points. I feel like Deception might try to once again go for maybe an E fake, an E point fake, or they're just going to keep going after D. These two points will capture. Not a little too late on the Wu. Oh, big fight going on on D here. Yeah. Lots of focuses just got used. Simply is very low. The creature seems to have fallen shortly before we got here. Now we're 80 to 80 here, so any power collection works. Roxaseros trying to get a summon down, but he doesn't have enough time. He's at a quarter HP now with an Ezra on top of him. So he's going to fall pretty pretty quick. Now Soggy Ballers, there's a lot going on here. Wu's very low, but he looks like he wants to keep going for kills. Margrave chasing after Waterbound him. will get the ob. Another summon of an obelisk. Deception. Or sorry, Soggy Ballers are getting a push. Another 100 to 100. It's just so close every single time. It's God, so close every single going. time. This is such a long game. It's like they're doing it on purpose. I don't think they're doing it on purpose. I think they're genuinely trying to win, and it's very evenly matched. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Deception. <laughs> Sagiola's not going for this. This is, uh... This is very interesting. Enthralling. Enthralling, indeed. <laughs> Gigantic, even. As the bracket once... Not bracket. As the power race once again resets. A little bit of chase potential here. Wu sticking his nose a little far. Gets out no problem, because he's Wu. That's kind of his job, is to stick his nose out a little bit too far. Yeah, fair. Back on to the D point we go. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> no warfire, stop that. Um, all right, we see yet again. Just chilling out here. There's an ob on the D. Yep. A lot of little fights happening. Yo, girl, want to ob my D? <laughs> stop. <laughs> Sarzy, no. Oh, man. Going in for this, I think the team at ult used uh, defensively just to kind of stay alive and go over. And he's fine. They get out of there. Back to the control. I think Deception... I don't know. I keep wanting them to go over and rotate for E and force fights to happen. But I feel like they also want to just kind of keep trying to push to maintain this midpoint. Good pull. Not really. Wait, how how deep, how how long are we into this set? Are we at the? We are at the two hour mark for this set. Yeah, this has been a long time. It's a long time, and granted, a good amount of it has been you know some technical problems. But overall, yeah, this has been a long, long bracket. Actually, wait, we're almost at three hour. Are we? Yeah, 162 minutes. Another 18 minutes. If they get, if they can get a couple more hundred hundred pushes, we could get a three hour set. <laughs> Granted, this is three hours between draft, creating games, and getting into game and playing all the way through. It's just kind of nuts, actually. It's it's a little. Oh no, I am not the biggest fan, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm glad to see that the teams are evenly matched. But man, I really just want more to happen. Big focus on Margrave. He's trying to yeah, get a... something to happen. There's a lot of uh, CC going down here, but not really the damage to follow. Laundromat's only at half HP. It looks like they were just kind of focusing the AWP there. I do find the kill. I think it was Northstar Watermelon. finding a kill on Watermelon. Margrave just getting out. Laundromat Super low good. health. But in the end, it, oh, nope. Gets a little interrupted there by the Taito focus. Back at low, need to get out. Margrave back in, Sandra very low health. Is Where in. is he going? <laughs> that was, that was kind of crazy, but this is now the push. Yeah. Is this finally the game? I don't think so. I think they, I think they're gonna get a hundred here. So, I guess. They're gonna go for a kill. Deception have to pull on a crazy defense here. Deception. Kicking back, waiting for it. I mean, it doesn't even need to be that crit. Yeah, 100, 100. They got it. I, I swear, bro. <laughs> they got it. Oh, man. They're still going for it, though. They wanted to yeah, end they, as much as we this, do. They, they want out. They want it to be done <laughs> Let one me way out. or another. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> That's what they're Surprise screaming. Watermelon sucking on Liren's forehead as hard as he can. They're screaming Simply that in comms right them. now. It is not working. Despite everything, Soggy Ballers do not win that push. And actually, with three deaths, this is really bad for them. Now Deception has this point yet again. Another Cyclops. Cyclops is very important on this map. <laughs> Jesus. This is wild. It is wild and endless. This will be the longest video my channel has ever had and probably ever will have. Gosh. I don't think anyone will actually right. ever watch this. <laughs> Laundromat with a nice little solo knock up on the team map, but he'll just scoot his way out of there. This is pretty... At this point, what have we not said about Gigantic? There's got to be, like, within this series, we must have said all the combination of words you can say about Gigantic. I don't know. I feel like maybe, uh... <laughs> I feel like maybe if there was, like, a, a different, slightly different, like, you know, champion selection here hero selection at least everyone except for team at at least everyone is a unique hero you know this is the most unique team that we've ever seen that's a that's a good point you know that's pretty nice <laughs> it was close to it was close to all unique heroes oh man soggy ballers nice little interrupt on the uh, cerberus there but he's gonna need some help if he doesn't if he doesn't leave, he's just going to get responded to. And yeah, the servers will capture. Still only ahead. Uh... Oh, they found another kill somewhere, actually. No, they killed the middle creature. That was actually pretty good. I think what actually ended up happening is that they were being distracted by B. And the rest of Soggy Ballers went in and took care of D. 
So now D is neutral ground. Do you, do you buy into the theory that Taito is really just a bunch of ferrets in a suit? I believe it. I mean, Sofetch says it, so it must be real. Everything Sofetch says is true. That's true. Except for... Um, he, is a, he is a primary source. Watermelon is gone. He just ate that whole team at ultimate. He's just, nope, we're out of here. So I are still ahead by 10 right now, though. They need to move in. But they also need to stay safe. Nice little cancel on the on the uh, Nasus. Ooh, this oh. is really big. That's a double. He might actually fall to that. Mm, yeah, the health, no, the health, the health orb, orb was, good. yeah, nice little health orb. I hate to break it to you, Wolfie, but we're we're even going into a collection. Wait. This might be another hundred hundred. Laundromat's trying to make something happen, but it's not really going to work. Nah, he's, Eighty to ninety. He's now. gone. They're going for the capture. L, nice interrupt by the Taito. Now everyone's here. This is too difficult to stick to. Deception, find the kills. They find it. Is this finally I, it? It's 190. Now we've seen this before. No, they're so and, far back. They're so far back. They're absolutely safe. They've got to no, be. Going for a no, kill. it's 100, 100. And they've killed the Beckett too. No. There's no. There's no way they're taking this wound without the Beckett. It's just not happening. D Deception wants out, though. They, they, they both teams want out. They're still doing they it. They want out. They're going as hard as they can. Laundromat's trying Good to just focus. reflect Liren's, Liren's forehead back into They're her. They're doing it. The grass. They're doing it. They found it. It's done. <laughs> We've been saved. It's over. Oh, my God. That was 41 minutes on the dot on one think, map. The other. Do you think? <laughs> Go ahead. Do you think that Soggy was like, dude, just let it happen? Like, that's, it's done. Let's just please. I don't know.